So I I honestly didn't think I was going to make another video for this channel ever again. <laughs> It's been years since I actually made a video for for this channel. And I don't mean like the usual one that I upload clearly just recording out of my cell phone and just like, hey, you, I'm here and that's it. Uh, legitimately, I haven't made anything with this channel in, in a long time. And I, I am so surprised that the thing that got me to make a video and kind of return to whatever this is in a way. And I'm not saying that this is going to be what the content is going to be from now on. I'm still debating whether if I want to um, make videos or not. Is uh, this this piece of shit. Uh, many of you guys know uh, possibly Boogie2988. And, and, and here's the reason why I am going to kind of give you like a brief summary on everything that's going on and why I decided to make a video about him. And, and honestly, like talking about Boogie is like talking about a runny steaming diarrhea that came out of your grandma's butthole. It, it's stinky, it's messy and worthless. But it's important because uh, when, when, when I started watching YouTube like long, long time ago, and I was barely understanding English. <laughs> I um I came across Boogie, and I and I remember that he was kind of a point of connection with a friend of mine at the time. He's still a very good friend of mine, actually. Um, but uh, but but that was a point of connection. We we connected over the fact that. Boogie was kind of like an inspiration for the both of us. He was kind of like this this source of positivity because if you didn't know back then Boogie was like incredibly fat, which he still is, but he was positive about things and 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 he talked about his life, how he was very mistreated by his mother and how he suffered all throughout his ch childhood. But he still had like a positive out outlook on life and he had like this skits of this character uh, named Francis and Francis was like this unhinged like revolting piece of shit person but at the end of the day it was all for fun it was all for for, for jokes and 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 then you saw like the real boogie right um Steven I think is his name and, and and you got to see like oh he's 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 a legit like cool person he's a nerd he's he he plays video games and stuff like that so everything was was good but then as time went on and as twitter became a thing he started to show more of his true nature more, more of his colors uh saying very unhinged shit on twitter um calling people despicable names and uh, like bullying them that's when you're like man like maybe you're just doing this for the cloud maybe you're just doing this for for being you know controversial to get more attention because at the time the francis character was already like dying down because a lot of people got to see like it was just a skit and a lot of people really liked Francis the character because it didn't seem like a script it, it was just like this cringe fest and they're like oh I, I wonder what this like person is up to like the angry grandpa right type of thing so um, as he started to reveal more of his personality he started to become more of a um, non grata person you know uh, he suffered a divorce. He divorced his wife. Well, they both went their own separate ways. And you got to see, like, a very, like, down tour to who he portrayed to be. He started messing with a lot of uh, sugar babies. Um, he started being way more egotistical. He started to show way more of his personal life. He's always been very open about his personal life, but then he started to show more and more and more. He became more um, money-driven by pity. So he would present a lot of like 
pitiful situations where he where he was always the victim but you felt bad for him because you knew like he suffered a lot through his childhood he's going through a divorce he's probably like depressed like let's help the guy and that was years ago and times have not necessarily changed and look I could go on and on about like everything that he's done and it's a massive rabbit hole that if you want to go for it but I'm not going to bore you with it. The whole reason why I'm talking about him specifically right now is because he finally struck the final nerve with me. Recently um, after many allegations, many like criminal trials and stuff uh, Boogie2988 came out with, with what I thought it was like the worst possible thing anyone can do, which is scam your audience. He went, he went ahead and did a pump and dump crypto scam in which he got paid $10,000 to promote a shitty coin or a shit coin um, to his audience, even though he made a video like portraying Andrew Tate type of thing and whoring his girlfriend like in underwear next to him, which since then the video has been deleted. But he, he promoted that, that coin saying like, oh, if you want to be at fat broke just like me, buy this coin, even though he allegedly claims he's lost all of his money due to crypto. So he, he comes back to crypto after begging people to donate money to him and everything because he lost it all. So the cause of his misfortune is now what he's going into to get more money makes absolutely no no sense but okay continuing he scams his audience because a lot of people do invest in him because they think like okay clearly this is not going to be of anything but he might get a buck or two out of this so i'm going to support him in a way because they know he's battling cancer and that's the main point he has, battled, he has battled cancer for two years now, as of the recording of this video in 2024, for anyone that is watching it after 2024. <laughs> and, um, and that has been always like a big shield for him. Because if there is one thing that Boogie2988 has, aside from massive amounts of fat around his body, is shields and excuses. Whenever he does something heinous or he does something like really really unhinged and, and and almost inexcusable he uses the I have cancer card other times it was like I'm just dealing with health issues I'm fat so I'm dealing with health issues even though he got a gastric bypass surgery that he completely uh, <laughs> obliterated he got the surgery but ate ate more and gain more weight out of out of it but anyways so um he he uses this trump card to excuse a lot of things so when he gets confronted by coffee silla saying hey why did you scam your audience after doing a lot of mental gymnastics this fat piece of shit says that oh well it's because i have cancer so at the end of the day I wouldn't return the money that I've that I got paid to promote this uh, this crypto scam because sadly it's it's gone because I'm battling cancer. I've been battling cancer for two years. So after that, if you like keep on like prying the dude, you end up kind of looking bad and like a jerk because like at the end of the day, you're you're fighting or trying to make someone look bad and that someone happens to have cancer so you're 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 punching down type of thing so you 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 end up in a way losing even though the guy might be like a scammer like he still has cancer and 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 he always throws this p pity party of oh well you know i'm just gonna die anyways oh, everyone dies and he he has this fucking martyr complex but anyhow now we are here we're in today where uh two days ago there's the uh this stream came out uh from local life uh and you can uh you can go and watch it uh i mean 
there's so much to talk about on this, but the main point is that Boogie gets confronted by his friends or like his inner circle. He gets confronted that he's faking his cancer diagnosis. Long story short, and again, this is a rabbit hole that if you want to go for it, um, but I'm just trying to summarize everything as, as best as possible. But long story short, he 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 is an attention whore so he possibly got diagnosed with a disease that he then googled and say oh this is cancer so as a as a point of of a, of of pityness goes and claims to the internet that he has cancer then most likely he finds out that no in fact his disease is not the type of cancer but just like a lesser version that can be treated easily so for two years he's been claiming that he's been getting like cancer treatments and everything on this stream he gets confronted that he possibly is lying and it is the easiest thing to do the easiest to just show his diagnosis on his app phone even though he gets offered up to $80,000 during this stream to show his medical records to prove everyone wrong that he is actually that he actually has cancer he decides not to do it because he claims it is the last shred of privacy that he has and he wants to keep it intact and i'm like dude you've exposed all of your entire life to the internet you were willing to scam your audience for 10k but not to prove everyone wrong for 80k where you will end up looking like the good guy for once you were filmed in a documentary where you did not hold back to an interviewer looking for a job to say hey if you google me you might find that uh I might be a pedo and that uh, there's criminal records on me and like that I abused my wife and, uh, and all this heinous shit. You were not, you were not one to hold that information back. You were not one to not show the internet yourself fully nude on a bathtub with your girlfriend fully nude on said documentary. You were not holding back on Twitter to post videos of you degrading yourself on your knees begging for forgiveness. But showing a medical record where it's not even going to show your full name because you can just like block that out or anything. People just wanted to see a, a shred of evidence to say, oh, he's actually, he actually has cancer and we're so sorry for you. That's it that's 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 that that, that that was it but for four hours this guy decides to say no because this is this is too much this is crossing the line and based on the evidence presented and i'm not going to play the clips or anything you can like go to local live you'll find the stream you can make your own conclusions my conclusion is that this fat piece of shit has been lying as he has lied throughout the entire the entirety of his career on youtube and let me tell you like personally to to boogie if he ever watches this video uh, which i doubt but you know my grandfather died of cancer my brother lost his eye to cancer one of my dearest uncles not too long ago died of cancer i was diagnosed with a a disease that could have turned into leukemia it didn't and it got treated and it's and it's away so that is to say that in my, in my family cancer runs high i am no stranger to losing people that i love to cancer and i might joke about a shit ton of things i i can joke about a whole lot of 
scenarios and I, 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 I call my friends gay and, uh, and, and you're this and I can even make like all sorts of, all sorts of comments about, about anything and, and anyone. But the one thing that I usually never touch is, is cancer because it's too close to home. It really fucking pains me when I remember my grandfather and I wonder what he would say at this particular moment. And then I remember, oh yeah, he isn't here because, you know, he died of cancer. Or to see my my cousin, who is like a brother to me, suffer the love the, the loss of his dad and to be on the phone with him for hours and and days and weeks and months trying to like cheer him up cheer him up because his depression is 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 high uh to see sometimes when when i go to universal to see, to 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 hear my brother ask if the 3d ride was was actually good or if it's if 3d is actually like worth the hype because he lost his eye to cancer he can't, he can't ever see 3D because you need two eyes. He, he has one and sometimes I even forget that. But yeah, he, like that minuscule little thing. And it's like, yeah, you almost lost your fucking life. I asked my mom once what it felt to have me sick when the possibility of leukemia was a thing. And she said, you know how you care about your Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Because at the time, Yu-Gi-Oh cards were like my life. She grabbed a lot of cards and she said, imagine that my hands were like this and the cards started to fall. She's like, and I cannot, I, I, I see that the cards are falling and I can't do anything because if I let go of this bunch to pick them up, everything's going to fall. So I am just seeing how cards are falling and I can't do anything about it. And I asked, I asked her that when I was uh, nine or ten, when I got di diagnosed. Um, and I remember her expression. I remember the pain that she had during that time. So to see a lying piece of shit scamming his audience and lying his way through a cancer diagnosis, cancer treatment, cancer in general, boils my fucking blood. It is despicable, and I certainly hope that you don't have cancer. And if you do, that you beat it. Because I know that there might be one or two people out there that care a lot for you, and I know what it is to lose someone that you care about to cancer. So I really hope that you don't have it. And I also hope that you stay out of the internet. Look for a job, get your shit together, but don't become the virus that has taken people away from me, because right now you're a fucking cancer on the internet. So, that's it. Bye.